Guys, you know that we are always giving you valuable information about Disney Infinity on Toy Box TV, right? That's right, Allison. And well, do we have some big news for all of our viewers out there. On Friday, November 28th, it's just gonna be massive for Disney Infinity. Retailers are running huge deals on starter packs, on play sets, single figures, and more. Yeah, that's right. We've even heard word of some starter packs going for as much as 50% off the normal price. Pretty insane, right? Pretty insane, that's crazy. To find out more about which deals can be had at different retailers, click on the link right here. Happy holiday shopping, and we hope you have some good luck scoring some huge deals. Yeah, absolutely, and feel free to comment if you guys have any questions, either below or on the forums, and if you find some awesome deals, we want to hear about it. Make sure you share it with the community. Hello everyone and welcome to a special Thanksgiving edition of Disney Infinity Toy Box TV. I'm Allison. Woohoo! And I'm Johnny V. And if you're watching this right now, I am actually enjoying my Thanksgiving at Walt Disney World in Florida. But it doesn't matter because this show's all about you guys. All about the community and everything that you guys do and all the cool new toy boxes you make and all the great new challenges that we have and even more, right Allison? That's right, so let's get into it. Okay guys, so as Allison mentioned last episode, we're giving you extra time to work on those amazing Gravity Falls toy boxes. And we thought it'd be fun to highlight you guys out there in the community and specific toy boxes that you've made that maybe don't necessarily fit within a certain challenge theme that we might have had, but are A-OK -okay toy boxes worthy of being featured on Toy Box TV. That's right, we've got some really cool ones, so let's check them out. Let's kick it off and get ready for tons of post-Turkey Mail fun. We give you a frozen world created by Michael M. Make your way to the frozen battle arena with tons upon tons of enemies. Get eliminated three times and it's game over. So stay at the top of your game every second. This has actually been one of the most liked and downloaded 2.0 toy boxes so far. Next up we have Pixie Hollow Hunt created by Mighty Jidas. This is a simple but crazy addictive collection game based in a treehouse toy box. The time's ticking. Compete against other players to collect Tinkerbell's friends the fastest and get on the online leaderboard. You are going to love it. And gobble gobble gobbling our way through our picks, we have Group Ball created by Drawings Are Sketchy. This one is a 2 to 4 player team game and best played with friends and family. What better way to share your fun after your tea day meal binge? Collect Groot 6 times for the other team to win. Hint, hit the other team to make them drop Groot. There will be lots of back and forth action and many laughs to be had. Enjoy! And next up we have Wonderland created by Diz Explorer 3 Fall down the rabbit hole as you explore Wonderland and this recreation of the Disneyland attraction. Oh wow, this one is just crazy and a very smart recreation of the far out attraction indeed. You know we have a Disney Parks Challenge coming up in December and if you're looking to get inspiration, look no further. This is exactly the kind of toy box we'll want to see. And for the last Turkey Day Countdown toy box, we give you Sugar Rush the Board Game. This one's created by Sparks81677. Look, all you toy box fans out there, enjoy this super creative Sugar Rush style turn-based game. We think that this one's going to bring you many happy holiday memories. Look, we always love seeing things that haven't been done before in the toy box, and this toy box that you can download right now for free is certainly no exception to the rule. Look, this one's for two players only, and we hope you guys have a blast with it. Congratulations, Sparks81677. You guys, make sure you download it and check it out right away. Hey guys, it's time for this week's 2.0 sneak peek, and this week we're going to take a closer look at Jasmine. Oh, my favorite Disney princess. Let's jump right in. Fans of this classic Disney animated film are going to love playing with this character inside the toy box. Jasmine is yet another incredibly powerful female character that joins the roster of characters inside of Disney Infinity 2.0. Fans of the skill tree and attribute system are going to love playing around with Jasmine's stats and figuring out just how to balance her so that she becomes one of the most powerful characters in the game. On top of that, her super move is totally wicked. She actually summons the magic carpet that creates this gigantic sandstorm that attacks everything on screen and completely destroys it. Be sure to check out Jasmine, who's out this February in a two-pack with Aladdin that actually allows you to change your sky and your ground textures to be completely themed to Agrabah. So all you Aladdin fans out there, don't miss this amazing character. And for those of you that love playing with girl characters, definitely check out Jasmine. All right, John, what trivia do you have for us this week? All right, so as a huge fan of Aladdin, I've got to ask, do you guys out there know what is the name of Aladdin and Jasmine's little monkey friend? And I'll give you a hint. 
the elephant version of this amazing little critter was a part of Disney Infinity 1.0 Power Discs. That's right. All right, guys, leave your answers in the comments or on the forums. Hey, this is Quinn, a.k.a. Quinn Jitsu. And this is Chad Liddell. We're from the Toy Box Community Mentor Team, and this is the Toy Box 2.0 Edge. Here we talk about the features of the new Toy Box that we think are super cool. Today we'll highlight the collectible tracker and randomizer. Now we all know that collecting games are amazing. Luckily, the new Toy Box gives you plenty of options. Yeah, you have a whole bunch of collectibles now, including orbs, rings, keys, kiln loot pieces, pouches, and our personal favorite, the pastry. Check out the pastry panic launch level to see it in action. Mmm, pastries. Just connect a counter to the collectible tracker, and with simple logic options like collectible collected and final collectible collected, it makes keeping track of all your collectibles a snap. Yeah, otherwise you'd have to connect each collectible to a counter one by one, which I guess you could still do, but that wouldn't be efficient. You can even specify which types of collectibles will be tracked by the collectible tracker. It's a beautiful thing. The randomizer is also awesome because it allows you to choose up to 10 random things to happen in your logic connection. For example, you can hook it to an enemy generator, then choose up to 10 enemies that could randomly spawn from it. You can have random lines of text appear in your level too. We've also used it with super cannons and a sound effects toy to make random sound effects happen whenever you get launched. It makes for a good time. Well, that's it for now. This has been Toy Box 2.0 Edge. Catch you later. There were so many great photos on Facebook this week. Jeanette shared this photo of her cat and Disney Infinity figures with the caption, just here waiting to get Disney Infinity 2.0. Getting it soon. And Tony posted this photo with the caption, Diani with all of her favorite Disney characters. So much fun. Awesome collection, awesome photo. Look at all those power discs. Thank you so much for sharing, guys. And just look at this adorable photo Paul shared with the caption, edit again. It may not be the toy box, but the grocery store is definitely an adventure when Merida and Iron Fist are involved. Oh my, oh my, oh my, how great is this? Jesus posted this photo with the caption, have a drink with Donald Duck's orange juice. We'd love to. And last, but certainly not least, is this Tinkerbell Times 2 photo from the Disney parks. Thanks for capturing this special moment, Raymond. All right, guys, so that is it for this week's episode of Disney Infinity Toy Box TV. But don't worry, because Allison and myself and the mentors and Toy Box Edge and all you guys in the amazing community are going to be back right next week because we're going to have a brand new episode. Oh, yeah, that's right. I totally forgot. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And remember, those Gravity Falls Toy Boxes are due by December 3rd. Yes. Okay, guys, so have an awesome week. Thanks for being the most amazing community in the world. And remember, if you can dream it, you can do it.